Smarters. I hope that you are well and that you are growing smarter every day. Thank you for all your hard work thus far. Today we are going to look at a challenge from the Grow Smart newspaper, the 2020 first edition and we are looking at number 5. Have you got your thinking hats on? My watch shows 10 o'clock. What will be the time 100 hours from now? Now, what are the smart things to do? That's right. You must analyze and describe the sum in different ways. What do we know? We know that there are 24 hours in a day. If the question had asked for 24 hours, what would the answer have been? That's right. 10 o'clock. But the question is asking for 100 hours. What do we want to know? How many groups are there in, two, in 100? And is 100 a multiple of 24? How can we find out whether it is a multiple of 24? Well, that's right. We can say 100 divided by 24. And if there is no remainder, then we know the number is a multiple of 24. Now let's take a good look at 24. 24 is one fewer than 25. And we know that 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. What does this mean? It means that 24 multiplied by 4 is equal to 100 minus 4, which is equal to 96. So, 24 multiplied by 4 is equal to 96. 100 minus 96 is equal to 4. Right, so let's see what we can do now. 96 is a multiple of 24. Therefore, 96 hours will take us to 10 o'clock. All we have to do now is to add on from 10 o'clock. 97 will take us to 11 o'clock. 98 will take us to 12 o'clock. 99 will take us to 1 o'clock. And 100 hours will bring us to 2 o'clock. Wow, we have solved the problem. And now they can throw anything at us. Are you up for another challenge? Here it is. My watch shows 8 o'clock. What will the time be 386 hours from now? Well, enjoy your challenge. That's it for today. Don't forget to post your answers as comments. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing and grow smarter and smarter. Until the next time. Thank you and goodbye.